peeps. Treatment, you know. Um, so this is the Yamaha YBR125. Uh, this is the higher bike that I'm on since uh, someone hit me on my beloved KTM. Um, so while I've got it, may as well uh, I'll show you it. Um, so it's a 125 like the KTM, but um, it's more it's a it's a town city commuter rather than uh, a sports bike. Um, it does have a nice exhaust mode, though. Um, but yeah, so the tyres, obviously they're meant for the city, so they're tiny. It's quite um, quite a narrow bike as well. Um, yeah, so you've got a 90 section front tyre, 90 by 90, and it's an 18 inch. Uh, same on the rear. Um, so you've got the Yamaha, um, it's fuel injected. Um, I think it's air cooled. I don't know. I didn't look up too much on this one. <laughs> um, yeah, so you've got the big ass exhaust here. Um, yeah, it's, it's it's not very exciting to be fair. Um, but uh, yeah, I thought I'd do some on it considering that I've got I don't have the KTM to do anything on. Um, so got the key here. Just pop that in the ignition. On. So you've got the um, speedometer, fuel and the rev counter and obviously you've got the signals, neutral, engine management and high beams. Um, this bike doesn't have a kill switch like the KTM um, and it doesn't drink as much fuel as the KTM surprisingly even though I wreck the crap out of this one too. Um, but yeah so we'll start it up and you can hear, you can hear it. It's already warm, so uh, it won't start cold. Uh, when it starts cold, it usually idles around two and a half thousand RPM. When it's warm, it usually idles just under one and a half. So. Also, like the KTM, the lights stay on all the time. Um, Sound too bad to be fair. Since I've had it, I got it about just over just over 1,200 miles on it, and I've done nearly 800 miles on it already. And I've had it a month. Um, not quite the milestone. I'll give it back to them with a thousand miles on it. But uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, so this bike. Um, it's quite narrow as well, like on the KTM it's like goes out quite it sits out quite a bit um, to give you that sport you feel as well as this you really you really I struggle to sort of put my legs around the uh, the tank because of how um, how narrow it is. Um, yeah so I think we'll go for a ride now. You may not be able to hear me talking that much because the mic on this
probably tell it handles the speed quite well. It doesn't really encourage you to go fast, but you're trying to push the limits and see what it actually can do. And that's what I've been trying. It can do something.
put a fiver in because I thought I'd get my point back this week, but I'm not. Um, but yeah, I've got a fiver in. Well, that's too far, isn't it? So, um, I'm 100 miles on it so far. On, well, over 100 miles. I've done about 100 and, 110 miles on the tank on the fiver that I put in, which I had three quarters. So I've done 100 miles on the tank, pretty much. Not bad. My average was about 188. Or 190 for that. So roughly I'll probably get some of maybe a bit more like the my riding style. But uh, I ditched the eco riding because it got boring. Because it really does get boring. Like, I started it and it was just, yeah, it wasn't very um, entertaining to sleep. Changing the gear at 4000 RPM, keeping quiet. I, I do do a UK drive occasionally, but like it's only when I want to cruise rather than um, rather than for the sake of. Uh, I've heard um, instances of people parking their bikes and then people actually moving them because they wanted that space because there was nowhere else to park. I doubt that would happen because obviously there's loads of spaces, but it could happen. So, uh, yeah, leave it reversed. Good idea. Because like, I'm just full of brilliant ideas. I joke, I'm not. I generally have terrible ones. Let's go find some chocolate buttons.